This is Algebra 2 practice test number 16, uh, question number 16. Um, the question asks, what is the range of the equation below? Which is generally, it has some sort of um, value. When I talk about range, it's generally referring to the y value as opposed to the x. The x would be the domain because x comes before y, right? And if you use doctor, uh, d comes before r, and thus domain before range. Anyway, you could think about it logically in the terms that this has to be absolute, so the plus 3 represents the range in some way, or we could get through with all the ridiculousness and just graph the stupid thing. So let's just graph it. You have a calculator, right? So go into y equals and drop all this stuff out, and I'm going to turn off all the plots real fast, because I was fiddling with it earlier. Now, to graph this, I'm going to type in negative, and then I need to go into the absolute value to do this. I know that I can get to that through the catalog, so I'm going to go in and hit second, and then catalog down here, it's on the zero. And ABS is absolute value. Anything inside that absolute value, I'm going to just push inside of it. So x minus 8. Then i got to click out and put plus 3. And then I can graph this baby. Perfect, right? And if I had changed the window out a little bit, let me flip the windows around just so you can get a better look at it. Just change the y, min and max, and all the rest of that stuff. You can see that it tops off right here, but all of these values are represented, and it probably goes all the way back down and down forever. So the range of the value at the top would be at what looks like plus 3, and you could even go over if you want. You could trace the line to its apex. So to go over there. So it's somewhere around a y value of 3 is the top. So I just have to look at the answers. f is all real numbers less than or equal to negative 8. No. Something with 3, right? So it's either going to be g or j. g says all real numbers less than or equal to 3. So that seems very reasonable. And j says all real numbers greater than 3. Well, if it was greater than 3, all the line would be above this number. But it's not. It's all below. So it's got to be g as the correct answer for 16. So sometimes just graph them and look at them. and really helpful.